Dundee's Trade Union Council have been commemorating and celebrating the lives lost due to work-related accidents over the past 12 months and a service dedicated to those who have been taken too soon. This was part of Sunday's International Workers Memorial Day. Trade Union Council has just celebrated a couple of years ago our 150th anniversary. Basically there have been trade unions active in Dundee for over a, a couple of hundred years. And uh, one of the things that trade councils do is we represent all the separate unions in Dundee uh, brought together so that the unions aren't just fighting on an individual union uh, cases for their members. Uh, we can also unite on issues that bring us together on a Dundee basis. International Workers Memorial Day is to remember all those who have been killed, injured or made ill uh, over the last year uh, due to their work. The numbers should be going down, uh, they're going down very slowly and occasionally you will get something happens that drives the numbers back up again. I mean thinking back a few years you had Piper Alpha, uh, just in the last few, few days we've had Lyra McKee in Northern Ireland who was a working journalist who was killed uh, through her work. We've had a couple of building workers in Dundee this year who've been killed up on projects up in Aberdeen. Uh, so it is important to remember that and to also fight uh, for improvements in legislation uh, so that it doesn't happen again, its numbers are constantly reduced and it's kept up at the top of people's agendas. Mike and his team are determined to see numbers decrease, not just in Dundee, North Scotland, but throughout the world. They are asking questions of the Scottish Government and are hoping that Nicola Sturgeon and her Cabinet will listen to the concerns of the numerous trade unions within the city of Discovery. We would like to see much more investment in support for the Health and Safety Executive. This is an organisation that's been cut to the bone over the last 30 years. Uh, they're the national uh, watchdog that keeps an eye on dangerous occurrences, investigates accidents at work and their numbers have been decimated uh, in the last 30 years or so. So we would like them to be uh, invested in and uh, their numbers bolstered. Uh, we would also like for more legislation uh, on the issue of corporate killing. Uh, there have been a number of cases now where corporations could have been uh, prosecuted for failures in uh, health and safety where workers have been killed. I'm thinking of Stockline Plastics, the factory explosion in Glasgow a few years ago, but people get off with it. Uh, they can find the company, but individuals who should really be liable are not being taken to court and not being prosecuted. It's a proven fact that in workplaces where there are trade unions organised, uh, the likelihood of deaths, injuries, uh, illnesses due to work is much less. So we would like the Scottish uh, Government to, to do a lot more of that, looking at procurement uh, and the contracts they offer to companies and how can you build in more health and safety into those things. One of the almost invisible things now is the number of deaths from asbestosis. Uh, it's now reaching its peak. You're getting 5,000, 5, more than 5,000 people a year currently dying now from their exposure to asbestos 40 odd years ago. Cleaners, what materials are they using? What chemicals are they using in, uh, in cleaning? Uh, trips and slips. Is your workplace a tidy workplace? Is it a clean workplace? Does your manager, does your uh, boss, does your company give you adequate health and safety training, health and safety uh, equipment to enable you to do your job? All these things are vitally important and people should be aware of them. I would say personally, if you're in a workplace, join a trade union. It can cost as little as a couple of pounds a week but you will get protection uh, by being a union member, but also uh, the education and the information you can get from the trade union.
can be really helpful. Last weekend's tributes are something that Arnott would prefer to leave in the past. However, as long as these tragedies remain, the trade union body will continue fighting for their members. Jordan Burke, That's TV.